Here's a pipeline to read CSV data from an Amazon S3 object. The column names here are very human readable. But they're not really what we want as column names if we read the data into a database for further analysis. Let me show you how I solved that in StreamSets Data Collector. So here's my field mapper, and I'll show you the configuration. Now, this might look a little bit intimidating, but we can kind of parse through it very quickly and understand what's going on. Okay, we're operating on the field names. We don't need a conditional expression. We want to hit every field and we'll work from the inside out on this expression. So this gives us the name of the field and this gives us the name of the field in lowercase. So that's the first transformation that we do. Now, we replace all occurrences of space and hyphen with underscore. And then we replace any occurrences of the pound symbol with the word number. And then we'll replace any occurrences of less than with under, any occurrences of greater than with over. And then finally, um, any occurrences of quotes, periods, open parentheses and close parentheses with an empty string. So we'll just effectively delete those from the string. Now we can get a good idea of how this works by just doing a quick preview on our pipeline. And if I click here, I can see that we've got a capital letter there, a space, a parenthesis, less than and so on. And we get these field names in a very nice format here, ready to uh, write into our database. And I can show you this in action. So here we have our uh, S3 console and let's just uh, drag my test file in here. So this is giving me funds from 1970, long before uh, AWS existed. But that's been uploaded here. And if we run the pipeline now, we should see that it processes that new file, which written data to MySQL. And if we go over to MySQL Workbench, that's the schema of my file. And uh, do a select here. And my data is there um, all as I would expect it with those nice uh, uh, lowercase underscore separated uh, column names. So we're eating our own dog food with StreamSets Data Collector.